An F-16 fighter jet has crashed into a warehouse outside March Air Reserve Base in Southern California. The jet was on its routine training exercise when the crash happened. The pilot safely ejected from the aircraft and no injuries have been reported. The crash ignited a small fire and also made a gaping hole in the roof of a large grey building. President Donald Trump unveiled a new merit-based immigration policy plans yesterday. The policy aims at increasing the proportion of skilled migration to the U.S. The policy is primarily a merit-based plan that would give preferential treatment to high-skilled workers. Under the plan, the number of green cards given to approved immigrants would remain the same. But far more would go to exceptional students, professionals and people with high-level and vocational degrees. The immigration plan has been roundly panned by Democrats and is aimed at trying to unite Republicans ahead of the November 2020 presidential and congressional elections. However, it is likely to face stiff opposition in Congress. Thousands of migrant activists gathered in Antigua, Guatemala amidst warnings of a growing number of Central American migrants going missing at the U.S.-Mexico border. The activists held a meeting where they sought solutions to the dangers migrants face. Activists have warned that the migrants traveling overland make them easy prey to corrupt police officers and criminal groups. Nearly one lakh Central American migrants crossed the border in April, which is the highest in nearly 10 years. A small plane crashed near Dubai airport, killing three British people and a South African. The identities of those killed have not been released as yet. The UK registered Diamond aircraft went down five kilometers south of the international airport. After a slight delay and diversion of some flights as a precautionary measure, air traffic at the airport has returned to normal. A pregnant teenager was murdered in Chicago with an unborn baby taken from her womb after her death. The baby is reportedly in a grave condition at a hospital and is not expected to survive. The nine-month pregnant teen was lured to the home of a stranger with the promise of free baby supplies. The body of the woman was found in a trash bin near her home. The tragic incident happened almost four weeks after she disappeared. Three people in Chicago have been detained by the police in connection with the murder of the pregnant teenager. A 5.7 magnitude earthquake hit off the coast of Central America. The tremors shook buildings in El Salvador and Nicaragua's capital, Managua. People were immediately evacuated to safer places. There are no reports of any major damage as yet. The mayor of New York City, Bill, Bill de Blasio, is the latest Democrat to join the crowded 2020 U.S. presidential race. Blasio is the 24th Democrat seeking to take on Trump in the election next year. The 57-year-old's central campaign message is working people first. Blasio argued that his record of progressive accomplishments in the country's biggest city pips him as the perfect foil to President Donald Trump. Democrats began a marathon reading of the redacted version of the Mueller report for those who could not make it to the Capitol hearing room to listen. The reading was being broadcast on C-SPAN. The lawmakers also plan to release a podcast version of the reading soon. The Mueller report elaborated numerous links between President Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and Russians, but could not find sufficient evidence to establish a criminal conspiracy with Moscow. Democrats have been rallying for the release of the unredacted version to the American public. Talks on moving Sudan towards civilian rule have been suspended for three days by the country's military leaders who demand protesters clear roadblocks, 
In a televised statement, the Transitional Military Council said barricades outside a designated zone in Khartoum should be removed. The setback came hours after the TMC and the opposition agreed a three-year transition period to civilian rule. Saudi-led airstrikes hit Yemen's capital of Sana'a. The strikes came just two days after Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels launched a drone attack on a critical oil pipeline in Saudi Arabia's Aramco. Riyadh is Tehran's biggest rival in the region. The strikes targeted nine military sites in and around Sana'a. People scrambled to pull the wounded from the rubble of buildings that were hit by the airstrikes in Sana'a. Many people managed to flee the offensive as well. The latest strike, as well as the escalating violence in Yemen's Hodeida port, has put the peace efforts on a back foot. Boeing has completed development of a software update for its 737 MAX plane which was grounded following two fatal crashes within five months. The US firm announced that it had flown the 737 MAX with the updated software on 207 flights. It added it would provide data to the Federal Aviation Administration on how pilots interact with controls and displays in different scenarios. The FAA expects Boeing to submit the upgrade for certification next week. India has strongly condemned the drone attacks on the critical oil pipeline in Saudi Arabia. India has reiterated its stance to fight terrorism and violence in all its forms and manifestations. Houthi militants carried out the drone strike two days after attacks on four critical oil tankers off the Strait of Hormuz. Both the US and Saudi Arabia have accused Iran of encouraging the Houthi militants to carry out the drone attack. But Iran has denied any involvement. The attacks come against the backdrop of US-Iran tensions following Washington's decision to try to cut Tehran's oil exports to zero and beef up its military presence in the Gulf region. Uber will now let you mute your driver. The ride-hailing app's new quiet mode lets riders send a signal to their driver that they don't have time for idle chat. But here's the catch. You will be able to avail the quiet mode only for Uber Black and Uber Black SUV rides. And these rides are often two to three times more expensive than a regular Uber ride. Uber Black users will also be able to get some more advantages like temperature control and extended pickup period. The Central Bureau of Investigation has said that it will continue to probe the alleged irregularities in the Beaufort's arms deal case. Reports state that CBI's probe into the Beaufort's case pertaining to the alleged 64 crore rupees kickbacks in the purchase of Swedish artillery guns will continue. The CBI has sought the permission of the trial court to conduct a further investigation on the basis of information provided by Michael Hirschman. The CBI's latest statement comes as quiet a U-turn as earlier in the day it withdrew an application from the Delhi court seeking permission to further the probe. U.S. former intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning has been ordered back to prison after again refusing to testify before an inquiry into WikiLeaks. Manning was remanded into custody for contempt of court after refusing to give evidence to a grand jury. She was released from jail last week after serving a two-month sentence for an earlier refusal to testify. Before Thursday's hearing, she made it clear that she would still not testify. Taiwanese legislators are scheduled to decide today on legalizing same-sex marriage. Taiwan's top court has ruled that not allowing same-sex couples to marry violates the constitution. Judges gave the government two years to make necessary changes by May 24th or see marriage equality enacted automatically. If the legal changes are approved, Taiwan would become the first place in Asia with a full-scale law on same-sex marriage. In Brazil, Bolsonaro's government is under fire. Tens of thousands took to the streets across Brazil to protest against proposed spending cuts for education. These are the biggest national demonstrations to ever take place against the government of President Jair Bolsonaro. In turn, has called the marchers useful idiots and imbeciles. 
Brazil's Education Ministry has said that it will freeze nearly a quarter of discretionary spending due to the government's precarious fiscal position. Bolsonaro's school numbers are failing and falling as he struggles with a weak economy and rising unemployment. At least 15 people died at the start of the rainy season in Bamako, the capital of Mali, following hev heavy overnight rain that flooded several parts of the city. Torrential rain started on Thursday morning, with residents breaking to flooded streets, floating cars and damaged shops. The spokesman for the Ministry of Internal Security has said that the flooding had caused serious damage and rescue teams were also deployed. A surveillance camera captured the moment part of a 91-year-old dam in Texas being collapsed. The authority officials said that the collapse caused a nearby lake to drop seven feet. A similar spillgate incident was reported three years ago, which still has not been repaired. A building that was being refurbished collapsed in downtown Shanghai. The building was being converted into an auto showroom. Uh, after it fell, 24 emergency vehicles and more than 150 personnel came to carry out rescue operations. People trapped in the rubble were also pulled out. Their conditions were not immediately known. The building was in the Changning districts of China's financial health. The architect behind the iconic glass pyramid outside the Louvre in Paris, Ampe, has died aged 102. Tributes have been pouring in, remembering him for a lifetime of designing iconic structures worldwide. His designs are renowned for their emphasis on precision geometry, plain surfaces and natural light. He carried on working well into old age, creating one of his most famous masterpieces, the Museum of Islamic Art in Doha in Qatar in his, in his 80s.